Hey this is Reddit Stories. I am reading stuff. Today we will be continuing with r slash tales from her tale. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here. Now sit back and enjoy the stories. I do not like being lied about. This happened this morning and I am still mad about it. I'm a cake decorator so I hear about customers disliking things all the time but this really was upsetting. I'm decorating cakes and this woman comes up to me and asks if it was okay for her to pick out a pack of 24 cupcakes and have me shape them into the number 9 and write happy birthday. I usually would say no but it was slow and I was feeling nice so I said yeah sure. So I take the cupcakes and shape them into the 9, the frosting gets a little messed up because I had to grab each cupcake individually and it got messy, nbd, it didn't look bad at all. I give it to her and she just looks at me with the most sour face she says she hates it and wants me to remake it again or she's getting a manager. Well I remade it because the manager was on lunch otherwise I wouldn't have cared and just told her to go get them. I remake it how she told me to and give it to her, she said it looked better but now she's mad that I changed the price. For 24 cupcakes it's $13.98 whereas for the cupcake cake it is $18.98. She's mad but still takes it and doesn't even say thank you. 10 minutes later a different manager comes up and starts yelling at me about how rude I was and how bad the cupcakes look. I'm just like what? My manager gets back from lunch and is like what happened? Apparently, the woman told her I was super rude the whole time and said that I made the cake so horrible and that when asked to redo it I just took a cupcake out of the middle and rolled my eyes and called her a B word under my breath and when I gave it back to her said, here's your 9B. None of this happened, at all, I was very nice and patient with her. I will admit the cake looked kinda wonky after the second attempt but that's because I had to keep touching the frosting when I moved them to make the shape. The other manager does apologies for coming at me without asking what happened but my other one gave me a hug and said that's how people are and that it was nice of me to the favor but next time to just say no. If you enjoy this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to help us make more videos. Woman gets angry when I tell her she can't sit on the stairs and block everyone trying to use them. The place I work in has stairs to the second level. They're curved a few steps up so you can't see around the corner as you're coming back down them, meaning if anything or anyone is obstructing the stairs at the bottom, you're not going to know until you're basically falling over them when you're on the way back down. I needed to go upstairs. A middle-aged woman and her two grandkids were sat in a line on the stairs, leaving a couple of inches on the one side free for people to try to pass by. I told her, sorry guys, you can't sit on the stairs. It's a fire exit and it's dangerous because someone could fall over you. She immediately got snappy with me and said, I'm sure we'd move if there was a fire, love, I said that's fine but it's still a health and safety issue so you can't stay sitting there. She yelled and said I was being ridiculous, then stood up from the stairs. I headed up the stairs to get the thing I needed. She sarcastically told the kids as I started to walk, let's stand up and as soon as that's woman's gone we'll sit back down. As I got to the top of the stairs and out of view she yelled, Jobsworth. She was gone from the shop by the time I came back down. The customer I was getting the item for saw her temper tantrum and told me when I got back to the till how laughable her behavior was great example to set for the grandkids. Stupid questions don't always come from customers. This is short, but puzzling to me. Makes me laugh actually. I'm training a new cashier and she's, well, not the brightest. I have to show her how to do all of her cashiering duties each shift we work together, it's like she comes back each day with no memory of working the days and now weeks prior. But this question just blew me away. Our freight day is generally the same as any typical retail store. A truck comes in early in the morning, delivers hundreds of totes of our products, and we stock them. Simple? Well, I guess after this it's not. Haha. Ha. So I am training her, again, on how to use the scanner to show where product locations and positions are and she holds her hand up to ask a question. I pause and she simply asks, so this stuff is just what's left at the register that customers didn't want? I really had to pause and take a deep breath to not laugh out loud. Mind you as she asks this as one of the other cashiers is bringing up 8 totes, from the back, off the truck she saw earlier. To add to the 20 stacked around us in different aisles. I was perfectly pleasant, using my, nice voice as my kids call it, and simply said. 
No, this is our order from the warehouse for the week, every week we restock the shelves based off what was purchased previously. It's mind-boggling the things she just does not notice. This may sound mean, or harsh, but trust me there are so many other bizarre questions coming from this lady daily. It's really taken, and taught me, more patience. Makes you wonder how she's made it through 50 plus years of life though. Hit the subscribe button for more daily reddit content and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded. Also if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, it really does help the channel. If you have any ideas, suggestions let us know in the comment section. See you in the next one.